Well, good morning, guys. Today we're in Vermont. We're building an observatory for a client with an ash 14 and a half foot dome plane wave CDK 600 system. Our crew over the last five weeks, we started out with just a farm field. We did all the foundations, assembled the dome, the walls, ran electric, trenched all the data and electric from the house over here. And today is a big day. We're finally gonna install the telescope and continue working on the network rack to get all the accessories up and running. Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a really fun one. Well, the afternoon was a really busy one. We got the crane lift safely done. We're going through and running all the cables for the accessories right now. And going in to the evening, we're gonna continue dialing in the instrumentation, making sure all the cables are running and communicating with the computer. All of that is situated within the network rack. So we're gonna continue running cables, dial everything in tonight, and get on sky with the telescope. All right, if you guys have been following along on our videos, you're gonna see that just like for the private client we did in California, on this private client in Vermont, we also did the mini split and HVAC and exhaust fan. This is gonna allow the observatory to become as close to the ambient temperature as possible when running. All that's gonna do is ensure that the seeing effects are mitigated from the differential temperatures, and it's gonna make sure that the equipment runs optimally during imaging. equipment on sky and we're testing all the accessories and it's a beautiful clear night here in Vermont. Milky Way is out. We were going to do a little bit of visual observing through the eyepiece. It's pretty cool with the plane wave CDK24 but we're going to wrap up with the user training right now and then tomorrow we'll come back do additional cable management user training as well and continue commissioning the observatory but overall first and foremost a great successful safe day crane lifting in all the telescope equipment and getting on sky on the same day
All right guys, well yesterday was a crazy busy day. We got all of the server rack cleaned up. We ran all of the camera devices. We got on Sky, we did some test images of the Hercules cluster, the Dumbbell Nebula, and even M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. So yesterday we also went through and started commissioning all of the devices on the telescope and within the dome. That includes our weather station that's outside. The weather station will monitor the wind, the lightness of the sky to confirm if it's dark out or light out, the wind speed, if it's raining, and it also has an all sky camera so we can log in and remotely see the sky in a 180 degree field of view. So today we have Greg Stafford here and he is putting in our dome control system. That is a huge component to our overall observatory management system because the dome control system has the controls that are going to allow the telescope to communicate with the dome to stay lined up. Of course that's crucial for remote operation because if the dome and telescope are not in sync, the telescope could be pointing on the opposite side where the dome is actually open. But with Greg's expertise, that is going to be 100% running within the next couple days so we can do remote imaging with this client. Well guys, thanks again for joining us on this video. We hope you learned a little bit, but as always, reach out if you have any questions about how to set up your own observatory. If you want our crew to come out, just like this client did last June, we did the initial site visit. This was just a farm field, and now we have an amazing turnkey observatory from the ground up, ready for remote astrophotography, all within five weeks of groundbreaking from concrete to foundations to the observatory insulation, and then the telescope setup and commissioning. All of that within five weeks was super tight schedule, but we got it done and super proud of the crew. Really appreciate you guys watching, guys. Stay tuned for more content. Clear skies. Catch you next time.